today we are going to implement zooming operation in MATLAB ok for that let me show you first step by step approach that we are going to use in our program so first of all let us imagine an image as a, um, a normal image oh ok to a sample image a sample image of 3 by 3 size dimension ok so suppose we have to zoom it by from 3 by 3 to 6 by 6 that is double of its size so this we can directly make it uh, first we have to translate it the 3 by 3 image into the 6 by 6 matrix like this as shown no this side ok and then after that uh, we will fix the voids voids shall the blank ok so how to do that what we are going to do that the void of first element in the matrix is going to be copied in its three neighbors as you can see similarly with the next one similarly with the next one so this is for 3 by 3 going to 6 by 6 how about making 3 times that is from 3 by 3 to 9 by 9 so this time you can see the number of voids has increased so 3 by 3 to mm -hmm. from for each pixels not just 3 voids we have extra 5 voids too so we will be filling those also so can we generate a, an algorithm that will take care of all these without having to write different programs for different zooming value like for just we have to pass a parameter 2 and it will zoom twice for 3 it will zoom twice so looking closely we can see that uh, the diagonal elements <coughs> if we uh, proceed along diagonal and we find the next pixel and then whenever a pixel is detected with color we will proceed back until that pixel if we copy the same pixel to all then we can achieve it similarly with the uh, 9 by 9 also as you can see so that we are going to do it let's see how for the code let me take you to the MATLAB uh, this webcam window is not required uh, here we are on MATLAB or better I will show you from the screenshots I have already taken this MATLAB won't look good in this screen capture so this is the function I made ok so here the first A which you are seeing will be getting the image that you want to zoom this is the times the multiplicity you are going to use in that image ok so first you are taking the dimensions of the image colored image is always three dimensions so three quantities are required three variables or three whatever is required to store the dimensions m is uh, storing the number of rows number of columns and t will always be three for a color image as it's three dimension one dimension for red color pixels values one for green and third for blue that is rgb okay next come to the next line we have declared three empty matrix finally D will be getting our zoomed image all are having size times times multiplied the original dimension that is number of row times 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 is this whatever we will write then this also times times the original number of column and T will be T because that is also going to be colored image so 3 only ok next come to the loop <coughs> this is the first step first step as in the image I had shown you the first step is to do this uh, where was it uh, the final result will be this splitting this entire image into this bigger one this is the times times the matrix so in the loop that which I currently shown it will result into taking the original image to the times times matrix with this much number of voids 
okay so so this is it doing so rows I have taken same column I am taking the odd ones okay times times j times minus 1 it will depend on the number of times we are doing for 2 times zoom it will be 2j minus 2 minus 1 2j minus 1 that is odd numbers for 3 it will become 3j minus 2 whatever number comes you can check those numbers we have to fill in the matrix like in the 9 by 9 uh, this is a 9 by 9 this is not this is not we don't need the odd numbers we need actually 3 and minus 2 ones this and uh, these coordinates will only come you can check that okay. similarly for 4 and 5 it will come okay <coughs> So this is it. This is the first loops, and uh, this is actually not the complete transformation of which I shown. The transformation is going in two steps. First, we are taking it within rows. So it will be spread in rows without any space between columns. So that is what I am saying here. Is that in this first loop, this gap will not be there only it will create this vertical gaps horizontal gaps in next this gaps will create in next loop so in the first loop will create an image this having here blue here green here yellow this gray will be here this brown will be here and this purple will be here similarly this green light green will be here this will be pink will be here and this will be here next time we will create separation between these three one okay so again going to the loop this is the first transformation along row along column sorry and this next time we have taken columns variable is varying accordingly so this time it will create a space between within row between two rows so now final thing that is left is to fill the voids for that next line to find as I had shown you that uh, we have to find we have to proceed along diagonal from this to this until we find a color when you find a color we have to move back so that will do so I am initializing that uh, row and column coordinate with initial coordinate is 1 1 the minimum coordinate is starting point and find coordinate as 2 2 because for any zoom team is at least 1 1 and 2 comma 2 has to be there like for multiplying by 2 it will be from 1 1 to 2 comma 2 these are the matrix coordinate as you can check okay. it will go to 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 that we will check so we are I so this I am decreasing it to finally get the original one okay <coughs> now this loop is going from minimum I to minimum I plus max I okay this max I actually we are not taking the coordinate of that actually we are keeping the how much difference it requires okay that's why I have decreased it by 2 instead of 1 ok so adding ma minimum i plus max i will make it the same that I have done here so minimum i to minimum i plus max i similarly minimum j to minimum j plus max j we are taking all this in all these coordinates the value of c i comma j comma 1 that is the pixel to be copied in all that is we are doing mm, we are copying this pixel for all these values ok so that's it and this way zoom works let me show you how it will work in MATLAB okay. 
all three dot jpg might not be able to see this so, so I'll show you the result okay so a is I'm showing the size of the image a so this is this much small image okay now I'm going to make it two times so zoom the where functions name zoom where I'm keeping a comma two computer got struck so this is two times for three times I'll just make it three it's three times similarly you can zoom more and more until it becomes unrecognizable so five times zoom that's it you can continue as long as you want